Hi, I'm Susan. Today I'm participating in week 14 of the 2023 CW Collage. That's the Crossword Collage. And it is hosted by Barbie of Nellie and Ruth Designs. And be sure and check out her channel. It is she she teaches so much. I have so much fun watching her channel. And um she's just a delight. And as you may, if you've been watching my channel, you'll know that um, I've been doing all these Victorian type retro vintage pictures um, for my collages. And I keep saying that I'm going to go away from that. That I'll try something new. Well, today has come and when I went away, boy howdy did I go away. And I've got Young at Heart, and I have found these printables. They come from Christie's Printables on her Facebook group. And I absolutely love, the, these are called Tattoo Grandmas. And <laughs> I think they're the funniest thing in the world. And so I'm doing Young at Heart. And this, this hits me in a couple of ways. One... Our church, when I first started, uh, when we first started going there about 27 years ago, um, it's a small country church, and they used to have a young at heart. We used to have a lot of older people in our church, and of course, over the years, they've passed away, and now we're becoming the older people, but I, it's, imagine some of those sweet ladies church ladies, and they would not appreciate my sense of humor having the tattoos and looking like this. It's just my quirky sense of humor that that does it. But, you know, it just I can't help but laugh, and I laugh about my grandmother, and especially my great-grandmother, who didn't believe in wearing pants. She wore a dress from the day she was born to the day she passed away. And, you know, she just every day that you know the hair had to be up the, the the cotton dress had to be on and um my mom used to tell her she ever wore a pair of pants she'd never go back but anyway um the second thing it reminds me of is i love the Jana de leon books uh, the misfortune series and the first one is louisiana long shot but the series has these two older ladies, Gertie and Idabel, and they are so funny. That book has me laughing all the way through it, and I've read about 13 of them. It's, it's quite a long series, but especially Gertie, she gets into some stuff, but I think about them when I saw these. So I'm going to use them today because it makes me happy. So I've kind of laid them out where I want around my around my crossword and I'll smart this time I've already got my tag written out so I'll have it somewhere and only other thing I plan on doing is I've got just a few embellishments I don't know what I'll use I think about the little old ladies in their big hats so <laughs> I thought about kind of just sticking that on there somewhere just the juxtaposition I guess you would say and like my grandmother always um, had flowers, um, but I don't have a lot of room for much. So I just thought I'd kind of see what I could do. And I just I love them. I love these. If you get a chance, check out Christy's. Uh, you have to join her Facebook group. But she has some of the best digitals ever. I thought about doing that. And let's see what else I got. I got a kitty, but I don't think he's going to fit on there. So I'm thinking just another smaller butterfly. I'm kind of liking, let's see. I am kind of liking how these are looking. So 
So I think I'm going to lay these down. I've already inked. So I'll save y'all that um, time of watching me ink. But I just, I'm sorry. There, you, you had to know, there was this lady in our church, Miss Lottie. And she was so headstrong. And such a sweet lady. And, but she, she told, she didn't mind telling it like it was. And, um, and she was our church clerk. And she, you know, she didn't put up with a lot of nonsense. So to, to, you know, the way my imagination works is imagining her with the tattoos and stuff. And she would not appreciate it, I promise you. <laughs> but it makes me laugh to think about it. I have, I have such a quirky imagination. Um, we have three kitty cats, and one of them is a red and white cat, and he has this most sarcastic, funny attitude, and they're all three just as sweet as they can be, but I can't help, but my husband just made the remark, he was cutting grass last week, and he was, he had come in for a break, and he was fixing to go back out there, and he just laughingly said, uh, Kit, you want to come? You can ride the moor with me. And he says, can't you just picture him in that hat like mine? And, and Jimmy uses a hat that is one of those big, you know, outdoorsy hats with the uh, flaps in the back so that his neck won't sunburn because it's hot in Mississippi and that sun has burned him more times than once. <laughs> and I started laughing. He says, you got that vision, didn't you? <laughs> and I did because I just, I could see it. I could see that little kitty cat riding that mower with a hat like Jim's. So that's the way my sense of humor goes. It's just, it might be weird. So I call it quick, quirky. Some people call it weird, but I like quirky. So. I'm just going to glue these down. And this is really going to be a simple one. It was nothing hard about it. The hardest part is it took me all morning just to fussy cut. Because this isn't even all of them. And I didn't even print all of them. But I was trying to make up my mind which ones I wanted to use. So, I mean, there are so many of these that... <laughs> It was a hard decision, so part of it was the hard decision was picking out the ones I wanted to use, and the um, other one was just um, inking, cutting out and inking them, because, um, well, the inking didn't take long, but it was a lot of fussy cutting, and I fussy cut them all out because I didn't know which ones I wanted to use. So I'm going to have her pointing at the... Yong. Let me get this down. But I, <laughs> I love it. And Christy has some of the best images um, anyway. Um, I learned about her from my friend Cheryl at Ink Pulp. She had did the Wacky Chickens. If you watch Cheryl's uh, Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge, she did a wacky chickens, and that's where I just fell in love with those wacky chickens. Now she she's also the one that does like the vintage men and stuff that I've been using. So not all of hers are like funny like this, but she has a lot of funny ones. If you watched my Marguerite Miller with a little dove, that's where it came from. So you know she she has some of the best images. And that, and that doesn't even touch all that you can get on her um, Facebook group. She is very generous. And she has, the, they're free. And she has some that are, you know, that you can use in products that you sell. And I just, um, she does have where you can donate money. But she is really a very talented person. I'm surprised she's not selling them on Etsy. I think she does have like a sticker um, shop on eBay. But anyway, this is it. 
I don't even think I'm going to add any more. I may have thought about adding splatters, and I, I may go ahead and do the. I'll take that back. It just wouldn't be me without the splatters. And um, and I think I'm going to do the Stabila all around them. Or just a, I may just do a pen, just go around them with my gel pen. It's not that I necessarily want a, a huge background. Just something to make them pop a little bit off of the page. And then I may just do a few black splatters. But I just, I love... I love these images. And I'm so sorry. I hope everybody's doing great. I just jumped right in this, didn't I? But uh, I hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing okay. I haven't felt real great this past couple of days, but I'll be fine. And um, I'm still reading the um, Alifair book, Burke book, and I'm liking it more. I don't, I don't, I think the biggest problem is, is I don't care for the main character, the um, lady in there whose husband died, was keep murdered, and um, I just, I, I don't care for her, and sometimes that makes it hard, but you don't have to like the main character. You know, sometimes you shouldn't like the main character. But it's just something about her that I don't like. But, um, she has an alibi, so I don't think she's the murderer, but... And it's written in her person, you know, that's who you're reading about with that. But, anyway, I am liking it more, and I read uh, quite a few pages last night. I hadn't had much time to read, and I've been very tired. So, I'm glad I got a little bit done last night. I usually, I try to read just, if I don't read but a chapter at night, just something that kind of relaxes me before I go to sleep. And I read more than one chapter last night. Still didn't get as far in there as I would have liked. But, um, these ladies have got me wanting to go and get the next, um, Miss Fortune book. The, the first one is usually free on, if you have a Kindle. <laughs> so I highly recommend you try it because it's worth it. And in your and in free book, you're not out anything for trying it but I laughed like I said I laughed and um, she also Jandalian had like I've said before in previous videos has more serious um, you know your grittier kind of book and it's malevolent and I noticed it was um, free on Kindle the other day it came up in my you know I get that book bub and you know the um, Oh, what is it? It's something else I get that maybe it's Goodreads or something where it tells you about the um, some of the free books that are um, that they have. You know that are you know they have them for a limited time. So and and they'll tell you about the books that are on sale and things like that. But if you have a Kindle. It's called Louisiana Longshot. That's the number one. And it is good. I like anything that makes me laugh out loud while I'm reading it. There's not enough laughter in the world anymore. It's hard to tell a joke anymore without someone getting offended instead of taking it for in the spirit it was meant but that's just me I don't know but like I said I have a very vivid imagination and when I read I see the whole thing in my head that's why I've always liked reading growing up we only had three channels so I did a lot of reading 
And I, I just grew up with that love of it. Alright, let me do just a few black splatters and I'm going to call it done. And get the lid uh, open. Now I know I've got, there we go, right in front of me. And this time, find some paper. I'm going to cover their faces so I don't. Some old paper towel. So I don't blacken their, give them black spots. love it. I say it's done. I hope y'all like it as well. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I almost covered up the app, didn't I? Oh well. I'll just write it over the butterfly. Okay. Y'all have a great week, and until next time, bye y'all.